What's up guys, it's Ryan from Seek Outside. Today I'm going to be going over how to use a load shelf on an internal load shelf as well as on the breakaway portion of a revolution frame pan. All right, so here we got our load shelf. Uh, this is going to be coming in your strap kit when you first get your backpack. Uh, and you should have also got a bunch of gatekeepers. Um, these are going to be the 26 inch ones. And these are the necessary tools to be is how to apply your load shelf. Uh, cut it. <coughs> apply. Apply. Able to use your load shelf. So the first way that we're going to be going over uh, how to use your load shelf is going to be on the Revolution uh, breakaway frame panel. So this is going to be coming on every breakaway backpack that you get at Seek Outside. You will be getting a load shelf. So let's dive into it. So the first thing that you want to do in order to use your load shelf on your breakaway backpack is you're going to want to detach the frame from the pack bag. Uh, it's super simple. Um, there are basically three attachment points um, from the pack bag to the breakaway frame uh, and we are going to be detaching two of them and that that's three on each side I should say. So the first thing that we want to do is undo this top gatekeeper buckle here uh, that attaches from the pack bag to the green loop on the front of the breakaway frame. I'm gonna flip it over and do it on the other side here. As you can see, our pack bag folds away perfectly uh, from the frame panel here, and it's gonna expose a bunch of green attachment loops here on the frame panel. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and undo these bottom attachments as well. You can really get in here and see. As you can see, uh, down here, um, below where the pack bag attaches to the frame, there is a daisy chain of Cordura webbing. Uh, it should have three loops, and these are gonna be different adjustment points to where you can attach this load shelf to your frame panel here. Now, typically, you want the weight sitting as high up on your back as possible, uh, kind of central, I guess. And so I'm going to attach this load shelf to the top black loops here. Now, that is not a rule of, that, that's a rule of thumb, but it's not uh, what you have to do. We have all these attachment points so that you can kind of adjust, but that's uh, where I typically am going to attach my load shelf. So, next thing to do to use the load shelf is get your 26 inch gatekeepers and hook them up to these top loops on your load shelf. Now again, you see on the load shelf, it also has these two side loops. You can attach them there if your load is, is awkward and calls for it. But uh, in general, these top loops are gonna be your best bet. So I'm gonna hook those up. Today, the only thing that we have to use as an example to cinch down our load shelf is this water bottle. So just pretend that this is whatever heavy object that you're trying to carry, uh, an elk quarter or something. It's going gonna, it's gonna to function the same way. So basically, uh, I got my load shelf set up and I'm going to put whatever I want to cinch down uh, on the frame panel here. I'm going to take my top gatekeeper straps on the load shelf. Get them adjusted to where I want. And as you can see, we got three uh, attachment loops here. We also have these side attachment loops. Now, uh, I've found that on bigger awkward loads, you kind of want to go to these side attachments here. Um, but on smaller loads, you can use these um, ones directly on the back panel. Um, but it's really up to you. Kind of depends on what you're feeling. So... Since we have a small load, I'm just gonna go ahead and hook them up to these, these top attachment loops on the back of the frame panel. Close those gatekeeper buckles. Cinch it down and your load is secured. Once you have your water bottle or whatever your heavy load is attached back here and cinched down, uh, all we need to do is just reattach this, uh, this pack bag to the frame panel. 
it's super easy. Just go basically in reverse of how we, how we took it off. Close it up. And upper gatekeeper buckle to green loop on the frame panel. Side A. Cinch it down and do the exact same thing on side B. And uh, just make sure you go underneath that load lifter there. Otherwise that might make it a little awkward carrying it out. It's not gonna be fun for you. Got those cinched out, cinched down. Now we're ready to pack out our water. The next thing that we're gonna go over is how to put your load shelf in a pack with an internal load shelf. Um, attachment. Uh, these are going to be good for, you know, uh, if you don't have an external load shelf, you can install the load shelf in the pack bag and it's going to, again, lift all that weight, get it more central in your backpack. So, <clears throat> first thing that we're going to do, pop your zipper open and if you can kind of see down at the bottom, there's gonna be a stitched piece of Cordura um, that's gonna have two little loops up on the top. And that's where you're gonna put your gatekeepers for your load shelf here. And same thing, you're gonna always be using uh, gatekeepers with two gatekeeper buckles on each side for your top um, application. Uh, and then you're gonna be clipping the gatekeeper buckles uh, that are already sewn into the load shelf on the bottom here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, pop it in, pull my load shelf back, install your load, put that in there, and kind of the same thing as uh, on a Revolution frame panel. Um, when in, with an internal load shelf, you're gonna have a bunch of different uh, points that you can hook these gatekeeper buckles up to. So pick whatever one fits your needs best and hook them up there. Give it a cinch. Make sure your load is uh, secured in there. And then you just zip the bag back up and you're good to go. Cool guys. So that's how you're going to be, uh, that's how you are going to install your load shelf in uh, the majority of Seek Outside packs. Um, they're awesome for helping get heavy loads up higher up on your back and, and giving you extra support. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, for more instructional videos, make sure you give our YouTube page a follow. Uh, check us out on Instagram, social media, all that good stuff. Um, but enjoy your pack and have a great day.